The American Red Cross of Central California is prepping for another busy disaster season, and they are looking to build a volunteer workforce to make sure they can provide relief at a moment's notice. So joining us now is Taylor Poisal, the Regional Communications Director from the American Red Cross of Central California. So you guys are looking for volunteers, always looking for volunteers, but you have some recruitment events coming up. Yes. What's going on? So yes, we are always talking yes. about the need for volunteers because it is so important that we're able to provide that comfort and care for our communities and emergencies. And tomorrow we have an event for our South Valley community in Visalia to build up our volunteer workforce there. We've had, unfortunately, so many disasters in Tulare and Kings yes. counties, and we wanna have more people who are there to help their neighbors in need. So that event is a quick one hour event talking about the different parts of the Red Cross and how we can uh, bring people in and welcome them to our important mission. Okay, great. So we talk about volunteering a lot with the Red Cross and uh, most of our video is people of really, really volunteering. Is there a certain amount of hours that we have to work? There's no like set requirement. I think volunteering with Red Cross can be very flexible yeah. because our favorite word to hear from volunteers is no, I can't right now. I'm going on vacation. Yes. I've got this going on graduations. So that's why it's so important to have so many volunteers right, right. so that everyone can be able to give back when they can, but also carry on all the important things because time is people's most important right. uh, part of their life. And so we just ask for 20 hours a year oh, wow. that you stay connected to us, that you take some training. And that's what this um, overview will be tomorrow is kind of the basics. What do the Red Cross, what does the Red Cross do in yeah. a disaster and how can we help, whether it's opening shelters, responding to home fires or preparing our community for how to be Red Cross ready for emergencies. How, how else do you think people can get involved in the community in maybe a similar capacity? There are a lot of ways to volunteer. We have volunteer caseworkers who work from home. They, they can volunteer from their couch, following up with community members who have had a disaster, uh -huh. maybe it's a home fire. They can be back in the classroom teaching folks of how to have an emergency kit and more. And then also there's a lot of people who are organized, can send good emails. Yeah getting people to work on their training. So whatever talents and skills you have, you can contribute that to the Red Cross mission. What, so in this event tomorrow in the South Valley, what is the a brief overview of what they'll take away from this event? So it will be, what can you do as a Red Cross volunteer during uh -huh. disaster season? Primarily that's during wildfires, but then we're also keeping an eye out on the big melt and potential flooding. And so it will be, what are the basics of Red Cross disaster services? Yes. How do we get involved with like by our county partners when they call us to help or the fire departments? And then how do you finish your application and get plugged in? Okay. It's helpful to meet people in person and get yeah. it face to face. But if you can't make it, you can always um, sign up to volunteer at redcross.org. And what does the Red Cross do? What do our volunteers do when they're responding to disasters? So the big ones that we're preparing for this year are wildfires. When people have to evacuate, they can go to a Red Cross shelter where there's a safe roof over over their head three meals a day and then emotional support mm -hmm. during a very stressful time and um, you're part of a team that goes and does whatever you can to help uh, you're with a group of volunteers who are seasoned volunteers yeah. who have been around for a long time or it's your first time we're all in it together to try to make sure that we're taking care of our neighbors who have been evacuated. I really like this idea also of training. So as a volunteer, you're also getting something out of it. You're becoming a better citizen and a, and a better contributor. What kinds of trainings do you offer throughout the year? So the basics for any of our disaster volunteers is they take disaster services mm -hmm. and overview. They take everyone is welcome, which is our core fundamentals of the Red Cross. We help anyone and everyone who needs it. We even have psychological first aid. Oh, wow. So how to deal 
with others in those stressful situations yeah. while also taking care of yourself because we have to be able to take care of ourselves before we take First. care of others. And so like, those are some that are offered. Like the oxygen mask on the airplane. <laughs> yes. Okay, tomorrow, uh, how can they find you? How, do they need to sign up real quickly? We hope that people pre-register at redcross.org slash South Valley. It's tomorrow from six to seven at the Visalia Veterans Memorial Building. Okay, perfect. Sounds like a great way to get involved, a very satisfying thing to do. If, if uh, you've got the time and you want to give back. Taylor, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. We always appreciate it. Coming up here on Central Valley today, we're joined by the president and the executive director of the Cerebral Palsy of Central California. Stay tuned to see how they're expanding their location and how you can get involved after this.